Okay, right off the bat, I'm gonna break a YouTube rule and I'm gonna tell you, I love these collars. I absolutely love these collars. These are the Lockjaw Flex metal collars. Um, they have a magnet on them. And I know I'm supposed to tease you and let you say, you know, watch the review to find out what I think of it. The heck with all that. The point is, I love these Lockjaw collars. I've had them for a few um, months now, and I've been testing them in a few different ways. And I am blown away by how well they work, how easy they are to use, and how much I like them. All right, but rather than me just keep on telling you that, let's go downstairs so I can show you guys some of the things that I really liked about them. All right, let's go. Hey guys, we're gonna get right back to the video you were watching, but I wanna remind you first that Garage Gym Life is sponsored by you. And there are three critical ways that you can help us continue to do what we do. Number one, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell. Not only will it make sure that you know whenever we put out fresh content here on YouTube, but the more subscribers we have, the easier it is for me to get interviews with the people that you wanna hear from and get my hands on the equipment that you guys wanna see me review. Number two, if you like like this video go ahead and drop a comment to let me know what you liked about it if you don't like the video at all go ahead and drop a comment let me know how I can improve the next time I put out a video for you because I want you to see stuff that you want to see number three share this video with somebody else and tell them the same thing that I just told you in number one and two because that is how the word spreads about us organically and as a bonus you can go ahead and click that join button and become a member for just 99 cents a month and 12 dollars a year doesn't seem like a whole lot but it goes a long way towards helping us change and revolutionize the way that home gym content is delivered and the home gym community is covered here on youtube okay before we go any further let's get something cleared up a lot of times barbell manufacturers will in an effort to be competitive with each other, they'll come up with a bunch of bells and whistles that don't really have anything to do with the product that they're trying to sell you. So it's, those bells and whistles may be nice, a little like the cherry on top, but they don't necessarily affect the effectiveness, the efficacy of the product in question. So the head coach of my favorite football team likes to make a distinction between what's interesting and what's important. I think that's what we're dealing with here. So for example, is it nice that you can take these barbell collars and attach them to the rack? Sure, that's nice. But if you're someone like me who uses a pegboard storage solution, I like I hang all my collars on that pegboard back there, or even if you have one of those wall control setups for storage and you hang your collars on that, this doesn't really matter to you. Is it nice that it comes in multiple color options? Yes, but is it important? Eh, to me, no, unless you're trying to specifically match everything in your gym to each other, which I guess is aesthetically more pleasing. It's interesting though, I would say it's not important. What is important, what is of vital importance, is that this collar holds this plate and others like it on a barbell when I'm using it and that it doesn't let go until I'm ready for it to let go because my safety is of paramount importance. A lot of times I'm in here lifting by myself, sometimes I'm in here lifting with my daughter and I am not interested in having my seven year old have to call 911 because daddy hurt himself because a collar failed. So let's check it out. So what I care about with these and any other collar is, are they easy to use? Are they reliable? Are they durable? So easy to use, I'd say yes. Because when you get your collar right here, it's gonna be in this neutral position. And then what you wanna do is you wanna lock it open just like that. It's gonna give you a little bit more space so it slides freely onto the Olympic bar. I will say that these will not fit on a specialty bar, like an axle or something. Um, now, Lockjaw Collars does have specialty bar collars, I believe, but I've not personally tested them. And so I can't vouch for their effectiveness. All I can tell you is that they exist and based upon these collars, I'm sure they work fine. Okay, anyway, you slide it on here, make sure it's nice and snug, and then you wanna lock it down. It's gonna be a little bit of resistance because of the spring tension, but you want that because it's gonna stay on there. It's gonna lock it in place, hence the name, I guess, lock jaw. And then it's not gonna come loose until you're ready for it to come loose. 
A lot of times collars start out really tight and then they start to lose spring tension over time because of the vibration from deadlifting, from unracking and racking the bar in squats, bench and overhead press. And also because people will forget their collars on the bar. It happens all the time. I used to work in a commercial gym and that was my first job out of college and people left the collars on the bar all of the time. That's why whenever I visit a public gym, the first thing I do if I don't take my own collars with me is I go around and I find collars that will hold onto the bar. And sometimes that, it, that search takes longer than my actual workout, but I digress. Anyway, so one of the things that I did when I brought these collars down here to test them is I left them on a loaded barbell for a few months. And so they've been on a bar that was on my deadlift platform, so it was out of the way. But the only reason I would take them off would be if I were switching the weight out or to put them on another barbell in order to use them. So for the past two months, I've only used this set of collars. I haven't used this one. I just used this one right here that I put on this bar because I wanted to see how it held up to repeated use. And I'm pleased to say that these collars held up quite well. I'm very, very satisfied. They haven't lost any tension. You can even, you might even be able to hear it when I pop it open. All right, see how that snaps open like that? I love that. And you can, there's also a little click I can still hear when I close it. That's good. It's locking in place and I feel more secure. The ultimate test though of whether or not a barbell collar holds the spring tension in order to resist weight coming off is if the bar is held vertically. That's why I usually do a Steinborn a few times with any collar just to test to see whether or not I can handle up to it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a Steinborn in a little bit that I did a few nights ago. But first, let's just check out how much weight this collar can hold vertically. Here I've got this bar loaded up with two 45 pound plates, so 90 pounds, and it should be well within the capability of these collars. And let's check it out. See right here, standing up right there, rock solid. I can push on it. The collars don't go anywhere. All right, let's add some weight. It's still nice and tight. Pop it loose. Let's add another 45. Okay, so now we are at 135 pounds for one side. Not counting the weight of the bar. 45, 45, 45, in case you're wondering. Let's stand it up. This would be half of 315. Once again, nice and solid. I'm pushing on it, no problems at all. Not going anywhere. And now the heaviest weight that I've had on here is, 400, uh, is 405, which is four plates. So I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you now. Fourth 45 plate. Get the plates set a little bit better so they're straight. All right. Now they're still kind of angled a little bit because of the fact that I'm not using a bar jack, but here you go. Okay, once again, nice and solid, not going anywhere. So Right here, I can tell you, I have got zero doubts in the ability of these collars to hold on because as I said, I have personally done a Steinborn, or at least attempted a Steinborn, with 405 on it. In fact, let's go ahead and just watch that right now. Okay, so I'm picking it up. So far, so good. Ooh, he's struggling. He's struggling. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. Oh, he got it up. I got it up. I got it up. I got it up. Okay, stand it up. Nice and solid. Nice and solid right there, okay. Now we're gonna do the setup. All right, now we're getting it on my back. With a Steinborn, what you wanna do is try to get it as you're setting it up. You wanna get your body below the midpoint of the bar. Ooh, oh, hold on, hold on now, hold on now. What you do? Oh, hey, hey, where you going? Where you going? So I'm trying to get myself below the midpoint of the bar so that it'll rock over naturally. I'm not pulling it up or shoveling it up. Here we go, and it looks so good, and the impressive portion's over. Now. Number one, I'm fine, okay? That was a few nights ago. I am perfectly fine. However, because I'm a trained journalist, my first instinct was to check and see if the collars held on after all of that vibration. Here's what I found right after the sign warning. 
on the plus side, the collar's held. Here, check it out. This is right where they fell. You guys can see the collars are still tight. Plates are still tight to the end of the sleeve. Look on the other side. Plates on this side are tight. It's a little bit of a gap right there, but that's impressive. Um, especially after being on a bar for, I'd say over a month now, um, I've had them on that bar clamped down tight. I only, I've only taken them off to put them on another bar to lift with, and then I put them right back on that bar. Um, I've even lifted with that bar, dropped the bar, done all kinds of things. And then I did Steinborns all the way up to my, uh, that 405 fail right here um, that you guys saw, and they still held on tight. So it's not bad. Okay, so now you guys know some of the reasons why I'm excited about the performance of these collars in the gym. But let's talk about some grown-up stuff, namely the warranty. So first of all, I'm going to put the link for this in the description for this video, but Lockjaw gives you a one-year warranty from the date of purchase. This covers the original customer, though. So if you buy a set of these and then you give them as a gift that you make sure that the person to whom you're giving it is listed as the original customer in some way so that they can take advantage of the warranty. Okay, now there are some limitations to the warranty, which is why I'm going to link the warranty in the description for this video so you guys can check it out for yourself. But basically, they said they're not gonna cover it if there's damage from shipping and handling, from storage, if you do something to it to screw it up, if you decide you're gonna take it apart to tinker with it, they're not gonna cover any of that stuff. So that kind of goes into play if you're deciding whether or not you wanna get insurance on it from the carrier when you're ordering it. But like I said, I'm putting the link to the warranty itself in the description for this video so you guys can check it out and see if this is something that you're interested in getting and you'll have all the information that you need. All right, so my final thoughts on this are, I think that these collars are awesome. I would definitely purchase them for myself and I love the way that they hold up. I've actually got a couple of pairs so I can use them and then if these actually happen to start wearing out, then I can just switch to the other pair and start using them because I really am a huge fan of them for every single one of the uses that I've used them for. They've held up going beyond my expectations and I'm really, really pleased. So I'm putting the link to purchase this in the description for this video as well so you guys can go to all of the different places where you can find these Lockjaw Flex collars and get them for yourself because I think that they are a worthy part of anyone's home gym.